Hello, junior geologists. Welcome to the calcite quest. This is investigation number three of our earth materials unit. And I'm very excited today to introduce you to four new samples that we're going to look at. These samples, my friends, are rocks, not minerals. And remember the difference between a rock and a mineral. A rock is made of many ingredients, whereas a mineral is the ingredients that you find inside rocks. So again, we're going to be looking at four samples of rocks. Are you ready to get started? Third grade rocks, let's do this. All right, so our very first sample that we are going to be looking at, and I'm going to show you here, is in your science notebook on page 15, okay, you will find you will find the definitions or the descriptions of each of the four rocks we're going to be looking at. The first one that you will notice is basalt, okay? Oops. And basalt, okay, getting a nice clear view there. There we go. Perfect. Basalt is, my friends, a dark, fine-grained volcanic rock, okay? That is basalt. The next uh, rock that we are going to be looking at is limestone. Limestone is a hard sedimentary rock, my friends. This is limestone. Okay. The next one we're going to be looking at is marble. Marble is a hard crystalline metamorphic form of limestone. That is marble. And the last one we're going to be looking at is sandstone. Sandstone is a sedimentary rock consisting of sand or quartz grains cemented together, typically red, yellow, or brown in color. Okay, so those are the four rocks that we are going to be exploring. Now, friends, if you can turn to page 16 in your science notebooks, Okay, we're going to do what we have done many times before, both in mock rocks investigation and in the scratch test investigation. And we as junior geologists are going to describe the properties of those rocks. All right, so let us get started. The very first rock again that we are looking at is basalt. Okay, so basalt. All right, friends, you are going to, as junior geologists, go ahead and jot down some of those properties. So let's think about properties. Hmm, properties again, that definition from way in the beginning. Properties are ways in which we describe rocks. And one of the first major ways, or minerals, but one of the first major ways that we describe rocks is by the color. So in your notebook, you're going to jot down color. And friends, you're just going to go ahead and jot that down for all four of our rock samples. Okay. We have color on there. Okay. Another way that we describe our rocks by using our properties is through the texture. So we're going to write texture down. We're going to write texture. Okay. Going to write the texture down. So you should have your paper filled out like so to begin with. Okay. You might be thinking about the properties of size, the properties of shape. Remember, we talked about physical properties, which is the way it smells or the way it sounds. And friends, we also talked about um, location as a property. Now, for these part particular rock samples, I'm not going to be able to list location. If you find rock samples that you're looking at on your own, you can go ahead and write down location. But if you're using just the four rock samples that I have here, I don't know the location because this came inside of a science kit that was delivered to all the teachers in Delaware. So the location of those is, is an unknown, really. Okay. So we're going to focus mainly on color and texture for our properties um, today of these particular rocks. And again, if you want to write down the size, the shape, okay, and the physical properties, you can go ahead and do that. All right. So when we were looking at, <clears throat> again, our example of basalt, okay, our sample of basalt, 
you could write down <clears throat> it is black and it actually has white specks. So you could write black with white specks. Okay. And yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, you could say it's kind of grayish as well. So we could write grayish, grayish black with white specks. Okay. Um, for the texture, for the texture, let's look at this really closely. The texture is kind of coarse. Okay. It, it's rough. It's definitely not smooth. Okay. So I'm going to say the texture is, remember how it feels. It's going to be rough, coarse. Okay. Definitely not smooth. Okay. So I'm going to put our sample of basalt down and I'm going to move to our sample of limestone. Okay. And limestone is definitely like a really pretty grayish color. It's grayish. And I, and I also see some white in there. Okay. So for limestone, I'm going to say grayish with some white. Okay. Grayish with some white. And then in terms of the texture, the texture of limestone, it actually feels grainy but yet rough. So I'm going to say grainy and rough. Okay. And again, these are my observations. Your observations might vary some. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at marble. All right. Marble. Marble. Marble is definitely white for sure. Okay, it's definitely a white sample there. So white is the primary color in the marble. And if you think about, um, if you looked at marble uh, surfaces in your home, which you could have, you know, in your bathroom or in your kitchen, you might have noticed some white in there. Okay, and this particular rock, it, it's jagged on the sides, let's say. Okay, and it's also kind of rough. Jagged, okay, so I have those two properties right there. And then we also are going to look at sandstone, which is our last sample right here. Our last sample of sandstone. And sandstone, my friends, it is definitely, let's see here, this particular one is, is darker gray than the, than the limestone. I'm going to say a dark gray. And I'm going to say, I notice, let me put that up there so you can see. I notice some white in there too. Definitely notice some white. Dark gray. I see whitish specks. Okay. Now in terms of the texture, okay, the texture of sandstone is definitely again grainy for sure so i'm going to say the texture is grainy and there's some sharp points there friends it's very sharp on the, this side here i can almost leave a scratch on my finger so i'm going to say sharp pointy edges sharp pointy edges Okay, and again, we're focusing on the color and the texture for our rock samples for today. Now, I have something very exciting to share with you because the whole idea of the calcite quest, my friends, is because the mineral calcite has a special property. And I'm going to describe that to you in just a second. All right, my friends, here it is, calcite has a very special property, okay? On page 15 in your booklet right here, I want you to jot down, okay, this definition. So pause your video and I will bring it even closer for you to see. Calcite has a property that no other mineral has. It's truly unique. It reacts with cold acid. A field geologist often carries a small bottle of hydrochloric acid to test rocks for calcite. Because this acid is dangerous, we will test rocks for calcite with vinegar. Let's see what happens in lesson two. Go ahead and pause the video, my friends. See you soon.